Okay, this is uh, my first crankbait on a on the lathe. It's about five and a quarter inches long. I'm not exactly sure how deep it'll dive. I've got the, the lip kind of on an extreme angle, so uh, hopefully I'll have a good action to it, and we'll see how it rolls. It's kind of a learning experience for me. Not much for uh, using a lathe to make lures, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it. I've already sealed it once. You can see it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I'm going to seal the wood again. Uh, and I'm just going to dip it in this, this polyacrylic. I really like this polyacrylic stuff. It's, uh, it's water-based and it seems to uh, do a pretty good job getting into the wood fibers. I'm just going to hang it up, let it dry. I'll give it a very, very light sanding, maybe with a little bit of steel wool, and then I'll start painting. Okay, so here's after about an hour of just drawing, but you can see that this uh, polyacrylic finish, these are really nice shine, really reflective, very almost glass smooth. Kind of neat how this uh, this grain sort of made a bullseye on this on the nose of this lure. I'm tempted to just leave the natural grain. I went ahead and applied the aluminum foil. This is aluminum foil tape, the same kind they use on uh, uh, HVAC ducking. Uh, you'll see a lot of videos of people using this. Uh, the only thing that I do a little different from most of the lure makers is I polish the uh, aluminum out. I actually take a little polish wheel with a little bit of a uh, car polishing compound and I give it a really high luster. You can tell the difference by looking at the, the amount of reflectivity you have. And you can see that barcode kind of reflecting. First of all, it mimics uh, the silver plating a little bit, not quite as, as perfect, but it allows me to put some uh, transparent paints in here and get that uh, background reflectivity through the paint colors. It gives it that 3D look as you're looking into the paint effects. My intention is to paint this lure uh, to mimic a golden lake shiner. And if you've never seen one, I'm gonna put a picture of one right here. You'll notice on, on my lures that I don't have really realistic details. I don't go in and and you know put eyeshadow and I don't know lipstick. Okay, that's not right. Uh, I don't go in and, and put the little lateral fins and the the anal port. <laughs> I I don't do a whole lot of detail. What I do is create like that general look of the bait fish I want. I, after all, what I'm looking for most of the time is a reaction strike. All right. This is how it's going to go. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint this whole thing with a transparent yellow. That'll turn this gold. Then I'm going to come in and with a transparent black, I'm going to 
give it a dark top and just fading off into the into the lower portion where this remains gold uh, and then on top of that on the very top third of the body I'm gonna come in with a pearlescent gold and that'll create that idea of uh, scales on the belly I'll likely go allow it to be mostly gold and I'm gonna put uh, a, a an opaque yellow with a little bit of orange right in here now the fins on a on a lake shiner are red tipped so I want to have some sort of red highlight so I'll likely have a little bit of a pearlescent red here and maybe on the on the very end of the tail of course the, the bleeding gill effect uh, near the diving lip so here are the three colors I'll be using it's all createx paints here's the transparent bright yellow that is the pearlized gold transparent black I got the tail eye in uh, ready to roll I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my holder I'll be setting I'll be setting the paint with the uh, blow dryer between coats let me show you what that transparent yellow paint does uh, over that foil and you can see it's kind of a deep gold going into uh, well the aluminum foil look uh, so you can gives you that transition from a, a, a nice deep gold to uh, silver put the opaque yellow on the belly so let's see if I can find a good angle to paint by. All right, so I'm going to hit it. I want to cover the seam on that on that foil, and uh, but not. I don't want to go beyond it. So this this takes a little more finesse. The idea here is to have uh, just a ghosting of black down about, I want it about to the eye level, down the middle of this lure. Okay, so you, you can see the transition in color here, I think. Let me put a little more light on it. Transition in color here from light to gold and then to a dark, darker color. But you can see that it continues to sort of reflect light through that black paint. I've got my clear coat on there just like I want it, which is just a thin clear coat, just enough to even out the seams on the uh, foil. And it gives me a nice protective coating so I don't have to worry that when I start to uh, do the uh, paint effects I don't mess anything up and I can and if I do make a little mistake I can always wipe it off anyway that should work I, it's a little loose here a little concerned about that I'm gonna put another clip on it and so now again I'm going from the gill plates down and then forward here you'll see the this is going to be solid gold here. Alright, so you can see that scale pattern. Of course, that's going to really get a lot more intense once I clear coat it. It'll have a, a little more intensity to it. But for now, we need to go a little more with the gold. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reference uh, a good photograph. I don't know if you can see that. That's my highlight black. Uh, I think I'm happy with that. 
it'll look a little more uh, pulled together when I get my uh, my gill red in there and, and a little bit of more uh, red around the chin. Um, but now I want to put some opaque black. There you go. My next step here is to go ahead and give it another clear coat. Then I'll come back with the red highlights. I'll put in the eyes after that, and then I'll put in the um, I'll put in the lip, the dive lip, and then it'll be ready to do the final couple clear. Pretty happy with the fit on the lip. Uh, fits pretty good, nice and snug, nice and straight. I'll, uh, I'll make sure it stays with a little bit of a epoxy, but that's not quite where I'm at right now. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this hole right here. What I'm going to do is use pearlescent red for under the chin and around the gills. Subtle red there, you can see it. Okay, that's about as red as I want it. I'm going to get inside this lip. Now, the fish has got fins right near the, the um, fins right by the pectoral area and then fins down here uh, where the anal port is. Okay, and then a little subtle line. Just a very subtle line near the, near the bottom. Just to give it that, that sort of look as if, just to give it the suggestion of those red fins. Let's get some eyes. You gotta be a little bit careful. Sometimes you just gotta crazy glue them on. I considered blacking out that socket, but it just seemed, there's, the sockets are so big, it just seemed a little bit much. So there it is. It's uh, once I get a clear coat on this thing, it'll really pop. Right now it's looking a little flat. Okay, the paint is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some clear coat uh, and glue on my lip. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna put it on the turtle. Okay, so I went ahead and taped up the lip. The cement is the uh, five minute epoxy. It's nicely set and it's pretty smooth. Um, the only thing is, is there's really kind of a hard line there where the, um, where the foil and the black meet. I want to soften that and I want to give it a little more of a natural look because it looks a little, more, a little bit like a toy. It looks very kind of old school Rapala looking. Add a little bit of green to the top. This transparent green, it's a very light transparent green. I'll show you what it looks like and see. Um, it's kind of a, I guess that's sort of a, a medium green. I'm gonna go ahead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray right along the top. It'll give it a little bit of a, of a, um, of a green hue in the black, which is okay, kind of natural. And then it, it'll kind of overspray down into the gold. And once I got a little bit of a green halo, I'm gonna probably hit it with a little black to obscure that. There you go. There you go, that's more to my liking. Bit of that green going into gold, into yellow. 
don't know how well you can see that, but it gives it that little bit of kind of a natural color shift up. And that should obscure that line pretty well. Once it's all clear coated, I'm gonna throw some red hooks on it to continue with the red uh, fin kind of accent feel. And that'll be it. And this thing will go in, in the lake. <laughs>